this short video I want to define what it means to differentiate a function. This curve represents the graph of a function and we're concerned with what's going on at one point on the curve. Now you might have even thought about questions like this in the past. At that point is the function increasing or is it decreasing? How rapidly is it increasing? You may have even thought about the slope of the curve at that point. Slope really is a concept that only applies to a line. Well, there is a, a line associated with that point. It's called the tangent line to the curve. And um, we're going to define what the tangent to a curve means. Um, now, tangent is a word that really applies to only one type of curve, the circle. The tangent is defined as the line that intersects the circle at exactly one point, as opposed, by the way, to the secant, that is the line that intersects at exactly two points. But we cannot use this definition of the tangent for other curves, because if you consider a curve like the one seen here, you can see that a tangent might intersect it at more than one place. However, a secant can be defined very easily. Um, you pick any two points on the curve and you get a secant. So let's define the tangent line as the line that is found when you take a secant and bring the two points defining the secant right to the same place. Up, oh, just as I was about to see a tangent line, it disappeared. Let me try that again. Oh, something's wrong. Why does that line keep disappearing just as the two points merge? I know why that is. It's because it takes two points to define a line and we only have one point. Once the two points are coincident, there's only one point. So the only way we can find a tangent line is by finding a limiting process. And this is what's meant by the word differentiate. Differentiate is a verb. It means to compute the slope of a tangent by taking the limit of the difference quotient for the slope of the secant. And I'm going to illustrate that with an example. For example, suppose we are asked to differentiate the function f of x equals x cubed at the point 2 comma 8. First, I'm going to draw a sketch of the curve f of x equals x cubed, the point 2 comma 8, and a second point that I will call c comma c cubed that represents the other point that we're using for the secant to define the secant. So one of the points is at x equals 2, the other is at, at x equals c. Then draw a picture of the secant through those two points. The second step is to just write this slope of that secant and slope is delta y over delta x, so you just subtract the y values and subtract the x values of those two points. Now we've computed the slope of the secant line, and the third step, oh, and by the way, this is uh, a quotient of two differences. c cubed minus 8 is a difference, and c minus 2 is a difference, so we call this a difference quotient. The third step is to find the limit of this difference quotient, um, and that is the differentiation process. So we say dy over dx is the limit as c approaches 2, so the two points are going to merge to 1, of delta y over delta x. And the notation for the result of differentiation is dy over dx. It, it sort of means the same thing as delta y over delta x, but we replace the delta with a d to indicate that we have performed the limiting process. So I simply compute now, using the methods we've learned, the limit as c approaches 2 of that difference quotient in the usual way. I factor out the 0 over 0 problem, and then I can substitute in 2, and the answer is 12. The slope of the tangent line of the curve y equals x cubed at x equals 2 actually is 12. So see if you can do other examples like this on your own.